Hey guys, Flaming Kalava 46 here, and today we're going to talk about the pros and cons about the 2007 rotating haunted house. Because, in all honesty, this one is actually kind of faulty. And, let's start with one con. Uh, a pro about it is it's very rare. I've seen more skelly bones than this inflatable. I've only seen one picture of this inflatable, and I've seen like multiple pictures of skelly bones. There's the cat, by the way. So, pro number one, it's rare. But the cons are. Look how it's been, um. It's been inflating for three minutes now, as you can tell. It takes forever. But. It's not. It's not the inflation that's the problem with this guy. It's actually the zip ties. Yeah, the reason I call this one kind of faulty is because the zip. It's because of the zip ties. Well, not even not even a week, the bottom piece came off because the zip tie was too loose. So when Josh came over to fix it, he he tightened it a bit, and we got it working again. But there was a problem with that. About a week later, the thing started to get tangled. I checked and checked, but it was it was a zip tie I was causing a fault, so it would, could barely move. But earlier today I fixed him. He's working good now. I had to loosen the zip tie a bit. You have to like push on the tab. You have to like push on the tab. I pushed on the tab with like a nail. And yeah, always leave that open. Do not leave it closed, otherwise it will inflate longer. So this is what the haunted house looks like in the display. It looks like that, along with all the other inflatables that are in the display. But, um, should hopefully get done pretty soon. Yeah, it's pretty much, that's pretty much it for this inflatable. Definitely, if you see one of these buy it as quickly as possible no matter how expensive it is because this one's a very rare inflatable but look out for the zip tie faults so, though because if it pops out this D jemmy uh jemmy did that he made the zip ties way too loose on this so anyways thanks for watching and bye everybody